สวัสดีค่ะ Hi everyone Today let's make braised pork belly with preserved cabbage This dish is pork tender It's so flavorful and it has such a nice aroma Full recipe will be listed in the description box below. Let's take a look at the ingredients. We have coriander roots, garlic, white peppercorns, pork belly, plain water, palm sugar syrup, light soy sauce, dark soy sauce, and preserved cabbage. I'm then going to pound these three together in my pestle and mortar. And it is recommended that you do that. If not, you can just blend these together. Don't forget to squeeze out the excess liquid in the cabbage. We are going to add salt to our boiling water. Followed by our pork belly. We are going to boil this. Make sure to place the rind on the bottom when the meat is facing you. Boil this on high heat. It's been 5 minutes and now we are going to flip this. Let this boil for another 5 minutes then you can remove it from the heat. We are now going to pierce our pork belly. If you don't have this equipment right here, you can just use a regular fork. Patting the pork dry with a paper towel. We need to sear our pork belly for a really quick while, just for about 2 to 3 minutes on both sides. This is to give it a nice color and also toughen up the meat. We are going to stir fry all of these. Stir fry until they smell nice. When these two are well combined, we are then going to add our seasoning ingredients. Stir well and we are going to transfer this into our boiler. We are going to add our plain water and let this brace. It's 
alright if your pork doesn't fully submerge in the water. We are going to cover this with a lid. If you don't have a double boiler like this one, you can just use a regular pan and cover it with a lid. It will work as well. It's been one hour and now we are going to flip this. This has been braising for two and a half hour and this is what it's looking like. Thank you for watching. See you next time in the next Thai recipe video. Bye-bye.